Campaign 2020, and during the Republican National Convention tonight, Vice President Mike Pence will appear at Fort McHenry to give his acceptance speech. Political reporter Jack Fink is here now to join us and talk about one North Texas Republican running for Congress who believes that the convention message actually is helping her campaign. Tell us more. Well, Doug, Genevieve Collins, candidate for the 32nd Congressional District, says she's focused on the economy and that the Republican National Convention is profiling real people who have succeeded because of President Donald Trump's policies. We are a party of 330 million Americans, not just one American, which is kind of what the DNC was positioning last week, solely talking about Donald Trump. And we're talking about the economy, actually listening to what's going on in our communities. Collins is running against Democratic Congressman Colin Allred, who beat incumbent Republican Pete Sessions two years ago. Allred received national attention last week while praising Democratic nominee Joe Biden in a video that aired during the convention in prime time. Democrats have criticized President Trump's response to the coronavirus pandemic and its impact on the economy. But Desiree Brown, a delegate to the Republican National Convention from Collin County, says the president's economic record before the pandemic is proof he can help the country rebound. A lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of companies have had to shut down. Um, that to me is the most important thing. And I do strongly believe that the improvements we saw in our economy the last four years, Donald Trump is the only candidate that will be able to revitalize the economy for the next four years. She criticized Joe Biden's remarks Sunday when he said he would shut down the country again if recommended by scientists. Aside from Vice President Mike Pence, his wife's second lady, Karen Pence, will be among the other speakers tonight.